Hello there and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a day in the life lockdown edition video. I haven't done a day in the life video since the first time I ever did this, which was around a year ago from this time last year when we had just gotten out of our extended lockdown. And here we are back in our extended second lockdown. Thank you, Bondi. In today's video, I'm just gonna take you guys through what I pretty much get up to on an everyday basis. I am gonna talk a little bit about work, but there's only so much I can talk about audit. It is quite dry and kind of boring and if you work with me and you heard me say that no you didn't anyways i hope you enjoy this video and i hope you're all staying well and safe the day is friday 31st of july and it is 6 23 a.m and i woke up five minutes before this so i could film it i'm just getting ready to do a seven o'clock 15 minute zoom workout class with a studio pole studio that i used to go to here I am just putting on my moisturizer and my sunscreen and no I'm not doing any makeup today because I don't wear makeup every day and that would not be an accurate day in the life video. I am wearing the AliExpress fitness set that I reviewed and this Tommy Hilfiger jumper which I have been living in. My mom got it from DFO or something, it was super cheap. Some of the exercises from the 7 o'clock 15 minute class, it was a core and shoulders focused class and it's just a really good way to get the day started. I have been trying to get up at 7 or before 7 during lockdown. Some days I'll sleep in till like 8, 8.30 just before I have to log on at work but I'm really trying to stretch and exercise in the morning just so that I, if I have to, I don't have to do it later on during the day. And here is Obi, the love of my life. He loves the fitness mat. Every time I bring it out, he thinks that it's playtime and he just wants my attention. So there I am giving him his attention. And then because I am still warm from the 15 minute class, I am doing another 40 minute stretch session. Um, I joined this stretch club that's run by a pole studio that I go to. And oh my gosh, this exercise is called Dish Rocks and it is actually so freaking tiring for your back i know it looks weird but just try it it's so tiring i'm doing a class that focuses on back strength for chest stands even though i started pole three years ago and kind of started stretching on and off when i started i didn't actually stretch consistently until probably two or three months ago so i'm just really trying to make sure i stretch every day and then it's around 8 30 8 40 by the time i'm done so i'm making myself some breakfast i have oat clusters yogurt frozen berries a banana and i had to give some to obi because he literally sits there and begs for it and he's just too cute to say no to so i give him a little bit and then i'm making myself this durian coffee it is so good let me know if you like durian i know it's hidden miss but i'm indonesian so we love that and what i do is i have my breakfast at my desk and here i am watching the falcon from disney plus um when the lockdown started i pretty much rewatched all of the Marvel movies in timeline order and then I watched WandaVision and Loki and then I finished Falcon. I have to say Falcon was probably my least favorite out of the three shows but anyways now it's like 9am and I'm actually starting work. So the work that I'm doing is a quarter review for one of the main clients that I'm on so I'm actually really lucky so far. For all of July I wasn't actually busy at all. I was working on half year and quarter year end clients so in Australia we have our June financial year end but all different countries around the world have different financial year ends. I was working on a Japanese client and a US client and their year ends are in March and December. So around this time at the year in July, I'm doing quarterly or half year review work, which isn't a full year audit and not as busy basically. Now in saying that, I did have a very busy December year end and March year end straight after that. So if I went into another June year end, that would be three back to back year ends and I would actually die. So I was actually able to talk to my managers and move my clients just because that would have been way too much for one person mentally. So that is something you can do when you're in order, guys, if you didn't know that. Then I am taking Obi for an afternoon lunchtime walk. So I like to take a walk on my lunch break and here I am doing some headstands. I've been trying to just randomly do them while I'm on a walk. Oh, here's me falling into a bridge. Luckily, I did the backbends early this morning. But yeah, I like to take a walk during my lunchtime and then just eat lunch at my desk because, you know, you're cooped up in your room all day. I work in my bedroom. I sleep in my bedroom. I do everything in my bedroom. It's just nice to get out and have a change of pace. So, yeah. Hey. And then after an hour, I come back and I help myself to some lunch that my mum made. I still live at home. 
and I'm very lucky. My mom makes home cooked meals every day and here is some chicken, some bok choy and some rice and some fried onion and I am technically back at work and I'm just eating and I have something in the background. Okay, I know you guys at work from home watch something in the background. Don't lie, we all do it and it's fine. Like we can multitask. It's fine. And then for the rest of the day, I'm just working through some procedures. I honestly can't remember what I did this day now, but when I was working on the quarter year review, I had to do a lot of procedures on these diagrams. So basically my client was a subsidiary in Australia and they report to the group company or the parent company in Japan. So they submit you know, quarterly financial information. So we just do procedures to make sure that what they're, they're sending through is, you know, accurate hasn't been materially misstated or anything like that and then I just realized after while I'm editing this video that you can see the toilet paper in the corner um, and that's because I don't have a box of tissues and we're a household where we have a lot of toilet paper as normal tissues so okay it is 4 50 p.m on Friday and I just sent my assistant manager an update on the list of tasks that she sent me to get through for today and she told me to log off so I am gonna have a look at my plants and check them while I wait for my sister to finish her stuff because we normally do Pilates around this time after work and we've been doing that pretty much every day during lockdown and it's kind of become a little thing now and a way for us to bond so I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check my plants now And then it's 5 p.m. and my sister and I are doing a YouTube Pilates workout. We normally do a video for about half an hour around 5 p.m. or whenever I finish work. If she's not too tired and I'm not too tired, we have been trying to do this every day since lockdown and we've only missed a few days so far, which is really nice. And as I mentioned, this is a bonding time that I get to spend with my sister. And to be honest, I look forward to it every day just because I get to hang out with her. And before lockdown, I was in the office every day. And then especially when it was busy season, I wouldn't even come home until 10, 11, midnight, even later. And then I would be doing poll on the weekend. So I didn't really see my family much. Here is a video that we are doing or that we did. It is a 40 minute full body workout from Move with Nicole. I highly highly recommend her videos. We have been doing her videos in lockdown and I found her channel in December 2020 and I did them when the poll studio was shut. So whenever there's a lockdown I do her videos every day. They're super effective and quite hard for how short they are and I love her style. Then it is dinner time and we are having a very similar meal to what we had for lunch. We have some bok choy here. We've got some chicken hainan rice which is amazing that my mom makes and I'm also not on a diet or like restricting my calories, counting my calories. I just eat, I'm trying to eat intuitively, eat when I'm hungry, um, stop when I'm full and yeah this is the meal. It's some omelette, some bok choy, chicken and some hainan rice. Yum! So after dinner I washed my hair, had a shower and I am blow drying my hair with my Dyson Airwrap. Still using the same shampoo and conditioner that I did a review on a year ago. I've had them for so long now. And then I am trying to organize my life. So I have all these separate planners. I think I have five different physical notebooks or notepads and I'm trying to combine them into one central location using Notion which I recently got I think the day before I filmed this vlog video and then after that my younger sister and I the same sister that exercised with me watching Marvel's Endgame this was the day that we finished the Marvel movies in timeline order and it was so sad I don't know why but it's sadder the second time that I've watched this I guess I have a greater appreciation for what happens um, and then yeah we're just chilling watching the movie together in my bed and then I think around 9.30 or so, I just make myself ready for bed and I FaceTime my boyfriend and then that's pretty much the end of the night for me. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I appreciate if you actually got to the end of watching this video, if you did, hi. Thank you so much. I hope you're staying well and safe and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.